Hey y'all, half mile sniper here. We're back on the range today. Today we're going to do a second test of factory Hornady 147 ELD match ammo against adjusted factory Hornady ELD match ammo. Y'all sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy the ride. Alrighty y'all, well, previously we did a test where I adjusted some of the Hornady factory ammo because it just wasn't shooting for squat out of my rifle. But what I did that time was I put a round in my inertia bullet puller, tapped it a couple of times to slide the bullet out, and then reset it to the seating depth that my rifle liked. What we got was we got a little bit of increase in velocity, but our group went to crap. I put a little thought into it. A number of commenters commented, and we all came to the same conclusion that the way I had adjusted the length, had affected the neck tension. It's a little bit loud this morning. There is a, uh, another CCW retired qual going on. So if there's any breaks in the action, it's because I'm letting the gunfire die down. So what I did this time is I actually randomly took five rounds out of this box and I pulled them. First thing I did was I measured the overall length from the OGV to the base. Now, my length that this rifle seems to like is 2.3805 to 2.381. First round came in at 2.327, second one at 2.325, third one at 2.323, fourth one at 2.322, and the fifth one at 2.325. So their overall length was all over the map. And then I put them in my inertia bullet puller and I knocked, I knocked the, uh, the round all the way out and I measured the charge weights. The first round charge was 59.6. Second charge was 60.2. Third charge was 59.9. Fourth charge was 59.6, and the fifth charge was 60.3. So while I had the charges in the scale getting weighed, I then took the brass to my reloading press and I neck sized the brass to bring it back down to proper neck tension. Then once the neck tension was reset, I put the charges back in the case. And then I weighed the bullets. Now these were supposed to be 147 grain bullets and when I, when I get a box of 100 projectiles, I, I weigh them and the majority of them come in at 147.0 to 147.1, the light ones 146.9. But out of the five that I pulled, first one was 146.7, second one 146.8, Third one was 146.7, fourth one was 146.8, and the fifth one was 147.1. Now that in and of itself shouldn't make a whole b bunch of difference. The powder charges being all over the map, that can. So what we did, like I said, I reset the neck tension, put the charges back in the original case, and then reseated the bullets to 2.381. OG the base, which the, OA, the OAL works out to like 2.999, just shy of three inches. Uh, the thing I noticed about the powder, the powder appears to be 
Stabol HD. Now I say appears because I'm not doing a, a lab analysis of it, but it looks very much like the Stabol HD that I have. So we'll see if properly setting the neck, ten neck tension and adjusting the OAL gives us any improvement over gives us any improvement over the way we did it last time. We will shoot five unadulterated factory rounds on the left dot. We'll shoot the five adjusted rounds on the right dot. We'll see what happens. And then we might possibly have a third go of adjusting the ammo where I will dump all the powder into one pile and make five identical charges. But that's for another day. Today we're just going to shoot this. So give me a couple minutes to get the target and the target camera set up and the chronograph turned on and uh, we'll shoot. Target camera's running, chronograph's running. I'm gonna get a shot of coffee so I can be running. <sighs> Definitely get your steps in uh, coming to the range and shooting a video, that's for sure. So, first off, um, let's see, let me get five of the factory. Okay, we'll be shooting a five round group with stock factory. <clears throat> We're gonna be shooting that on the left hand dot. A little cool this morning. Let's uh, make sure I'm over the chronograph. It would appear that I am. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Factory Hornady 147 match. <sighs> Five shot group. Here we go. Twenty-eight forty-nine. I think the chronograph may have gone to sleep. It took me so long to uh, get shooting. Twenty-eight forty-nine. Interesting. I'll have to compare lot numbers because that previous batch, as I recall, was only shooting like 2,700. Okay, continuing on. Twenty-eight twenty-six. Twenty-eight oh five. Okay, last shot with the unadulterated factory ammo. Two thousand eight hundred thirty-five. Twenty-eight thirty-five. Twenty-eight 
Our five shot average is 2839. Our extreme spread is 75 and our standard deviation is 25. And from here, that looks like at least an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half group. Match amulet, mind you. Okay, I'm going to reset the chronograph, check the battery on the target cam, let the gun shoot uh, cool down. We'll bring you right back. Okay, gun is cooled off. Chronograph's reset. Camera battery is still good. Our target camera battery is still good. Got my five rounds loaded up that uh, have been modified, and now we will shoot the modified ammo on the right hand dot. <clears throat> this, uh, this rainstorm, it's getting colder is I believe the southern edge of the big storm that's hitting uh, up in the Sierras and they're calling for like 10 feet of snow. So it was a pretty wet drive on the way up to the range this morning. Okay, <clears throat> modified ammo, five shot group, right hand dot. Here we go. I don't expect the velocities to be much different, but I'm hoping for a better group. Twenty-eight seventy-one. Two Twenty eight twenty four. Last shot. Twenty seven eighty nine. Okay. Let's see. So our five shot group gave us twenty eight forty seven, which is a little bit faster than it was before. Our extreme spread was ninety four. And our standard deviation was 35. Now, the big question is, did the group improve? Let me go pull that target and we'll measure it out. Well, 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 well. Interesting. Factory Hornady, unadulterated, straight from the box. Gave us a what, 28, 38 average velocity and a 1.692 inch group. Huge group. I gave it the best trigger pulls I could give this morning. 
the adjusted ammo, which the only adjustment we made was remove the bullet, reset the neck tension, set the bullet to 2.381 OG to base, and our group is 1.063, and our average speed, if I remember correctly, was 2847, so a little bit faster, a whole lot tighter. Still nothing to write home about, but a whole lot tighter. Now, could it be the weather affecting the groups, making this one so huge and this one just over an inch? Possible. But we're going to do yet a third adjustment test and see if we can tighten it up even farther. So the interesting thing, different lot, this ammo shot faster, but it also shot a worse group. Resetting the neck tension, and setting the bullets all to the same uh, depth, definitely helped the group. Once again, we also saw an increase in velocity. And I think I said it earlier, and I hope I said it correctly, but when I weighed the powder charges, the powder that was in the uh, these cases looks very much like the Stayball HD. So, kind of curious. I have to go back and double check. I think we stopped or got our best group at 58.5. And looking at this ammo, if it's the same stuff, we might be able to go as high as 60-ish. But that's neither here nor there. That's for a later date. Our next test with trying to improve the Hornady factory ammo, we're gonna do the same thing we did here. We're going to break the rounds down, reset the neck tension so we can get the bullets all set to the same depth. Two things will be different. I'm going to pour all the powder into one receptacle. Once it's weighed, get the grand total weight, divide by five, and we're gonna make five equal charges. The other thing is, uh, this test puts us at just about 425 rounds, so it is time to clean the bore, scope the bore, and check the throat erosion and see if we need to adjust our seating depth. So our overall length may, may change a little bit. It's interesting. I'm glad we were able to tighten that group up a lot. And the thing that really surprises me, uh, definitely need the coffee this morning. This is match ammo. And some people have great results with it, but it seems like a lot of people don't. And I can, I can tell you, my gun definitely doesn't like it. And y'all have seen it. Sorry, Hornady, but your match ammo in my gun, broadsides and barns, they don't, they don't meet. Alrighty, as always, like my shirt says, stay strapped or get clapped. Carry everywhere you can. Get a CCW if you need one. Come out to the range on a morning like this and get your qual in like all these other people are doing. If you're in a constitutional carry state, no reason not to be carrying but I would suggest getting the CCW anyways because you may travel. Oh, you know, now we got sunshine. I'm sure there's another band of rain coming. Uh, okay, with all that being said, once again, I want to thank you all for hanging with me. I really do appreciate it. We're uh, closing in on almost 3,450 3, subscribers, but way more than I ever thought I'd get. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. So until next time, next time we'll be taking a look in the, in the bore here, but until next time, y'all stay safe, keep shooting, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah.